Z68X UD3, uh, UD3HB3 motherboard, uh, designed for the Intel uh, i-series um, uh, 1155 socket. Um, I, I will be using this as the motherboard for the, the Hackintosh. Uh, the main reason we're going this one is because this is one of the recommended boards uh, used by the Tony Mac x86.com site and they do their many of their custom builds on on this board so let's take a look at it lots of um, uh, icons on the top not the most pretty box um, go inside yep so here's the RAM I, I just slipped that in there beforehand um, so it came as a, a package from NCIX. Um, so I got a package of uh, Patriot uh, 8 gigahertz uh, dual channel memory, uh, 1600 megahertz, uh, PC3 uh, 1280. So we'll be putting that in there. So we have the manuals, a couple of stickers, and uh, an SLI uh, um, connector, which we most likely won't use since we're using a Radeon ATI card, um, some uh, SATA cables come with it, the uh, IO guard there, not a lot of extra stuff there. Um, and we'll just, just get to the main part here. So it's a, it's a decent, from the reviews, uh, this motherboard is a decent uh, mid-range board. There we go. It's fairly nice. It's got uh, it's got Display Port, HDMI, optical out. It's got two USB uh, three ports here, uh, four USB two. It's got FireWire and eSATA as well. Um, we won't be using the built-in graphics. We'll be using an ATI card, which we'll open in a minute. But uh, that's it, really. It's got four uh, RAM slots. It's got two uh, PCI Express for um, dual graphics card if you want that. Um, we'll only be using one. It's got a, you know, the typical arrangement. Um, the good thing is it does have FireWire, so that'll be handy for uh, the Hackintosh because I do have uh, several FireWire uh, peripherals that I want to use. There you go. That'll be the motherboard.